Hello, hi. Welcome back to Guardian Quest. It's me, Cranberry. I can't... I, I'm actually trapped. I can't stop playing the game. I've got like a, a, a saw-style uh, jigsaw contraption here. And if I if I don't... If I don't stop... Or if I do stop playing this game... Uh, <laughs> Jigsaw's gonna cut my... I don't know. Left foot off? Not like the most debilitating injury ever, but it would suck. It would suck to get my left foot cut off. So we're gonna... We're gonna play the game. I did do a little bit of uh, upkeep uh, in between this and the actual end of the last run. I went and bought some supplies and I rested in the inn as well, I believe. And I went around and looked at the shops. Most of the shops don't have don't have squat, but I did want to actually come in here and buy this dexterity rune. I, I checked the shops. It's the only thing that's kind of interesting. I didn't want you to miss me buying that because you might say, "Weird, where did Stroud get this one secret dexterity point from?" Huh? Wanted to make sure you knew. That's where we got it. Um, other than that, though, we gotta go kill the Rift Wanderer. I think, right? Probably. Anyway, there's no other quest to do. I think get this one completed. Right. We gotta go defeat the Rift Lord. I think it recommended level twenty-one. What level are we right now? We're level fifteen. So like. Uh, we maybe we should explore a little bit we haven't gotten through the whole map we got like a campfire to do down here let's do this campfire real quick huh let's do a little bit we're under leveled but like the game hasn't been tough yet so far so i don't know maybe the rift lord will be tough who who knows right um let's head to where's the closest to this i think this is technically the closest the moore's waypoint so boom Use the waypoint. Travel down to the camp. Set up a camp. And let's see what we got. I feel like I moved the microphone a little bit too far away. Hold on a second. Maybe that's... Well, hopefully that's better. I don't know. Um. Okay, rope mastery. Last time... I forget who I gave this to. Maybe, maybe I gave it to Catherine. Who do we want to have a rope mastery? Uh, fervent prayer for the next two battles. Party gains a buff, granting one might every turn. Gain twenty synergy. Remove two exhaustions. Um, we should have you meditate. I think a bunch of times. We should have. Let's have, let's have Neuron. Oh, sorry, sorry. Let's have you. Oh, well, hmm. You have this you gotta do. I want you to chat. I want you to. Fire here draws one of their camp abilities. I want you doing this. I guess you should be the one. Ah, but you're, you're already like ahead on skills, I think. Let's, let's do this. It'll be fine. Um, and you're behind on synergy, so let's actually give you this. Um. Hmm. Let's do a little of that. Let's use let's use our fate because we can just go back and get more fate. Basically, it's pretty cheap. Um. Let's do this. Let's have you stoke the fire. Intrusion raiders. I have not had an intrusion ever. Play on target hero to remove this card if unplayed by the end. By the turn and discard and lose three to five supplies. That doesn't bother me because we're going back to town anyway, I think, but whatever. Um, let's keep stoking. You're already faded out, so let's do this. I guess we can just do this too. Whatever, you fight the raiders off. Apparently they, they, keep, they keep raiding me, which is kind of rude. Keep fighting off the the raiders. Thank you. Small talk. Uh, target hero draws a chat. Start a conversation with another hero. Okay. What are we What are we increasing on the bard side here? Uh. I did already upgrade the chorus, so I think this kind of makes this is a good choice. 
I would say. Although the plus four is not increasing. Hold on. Let's look around. Maybe we just start going on these verses. These verses are pretty are pretty useful. What about you? Man, not that not that good. Hmm. What a scatter hit, two more two extra damage, kinda whack. Uh block, that's what we need. I'll go with this. One extra vulnerable to all enemies seems pretty good. I don't know, whatever. Let's try to max it out. Maybe something cool happens at, at max. Uh, Let's give you 15 synergy. Okay. Cool. Let's also have another chat. Do one of these. And my man, you can stoke the fire. The Ron gain synergy. Draw a special activity card. Let's do that. That sounds fun. Special activity. Hell yeah. We got another small talk. And a surplus ingredients. So. We'll have you create the warm meals. And we will once again talk. Draw first aid. No, we'll just take this, this energy here. We'll remove your exhaustions. Mm. And we'll pop this on you to hopefully get meditate. You do that. Stoke the fire. We can do this twice? What the hell? I did not realize that. Sick. Buried item, find a random item. Mantra of retribution. Let's do this. I, I changed my mind. Actually, I want to do this instead. I have it. Okay, whatever. Never mind. Because you're the tank, you should have that. Whatever. It, you know. Not the end of the world. Uh. Those both kind of stink. So, what? It's fine. It's cool. Honestly, you just chill. We don't need supplies. We don't need anything. Just, just, just relax. Ooh. Well. Uh, the activity card last time was fine. Let's do this. Sure. Rest. Remove one exhaustion. 50% chance to draw an event card. Well, let's... I use it on myself. No. Oh, that's fine. You level up again. Let's we'll go expertise this time. I can't stoke the campfire. No. Whatever. Uh, I barely know what's happening during those events, but it's fine. That's cool. Um. That's a battle with max SP. We have a shrine here. Let's do the shrine real quick, huh? So apparently you have to fight this first. Okay, let's fight this horde. Then we'll get the shrine. We'll see if we can get some cool events. You know, actually, let's stop. Let's stop fucking around. We can take this, man. I'm pretty confident. Apparently, we're being blocked by whatever this event is. So let's head back here and just waypoint to the... Uh, the burial zone, whatever it's called, old burial, old burial grounds, huh? Let's stop goofing. Let's let's just let's just get in there. And this is one of those ones where I think we can, we don't we're not forced to stay here. We can retreat if we need to. It looks like we get an event. Catch a glimpse of something shiny buried in the dirt. I forgot to get my fate back. Who wants to take the money? Also, why did it show us back at the camp? Hold on, we need to leave. I forgot about our fate. I would like to go back to town real quick. Real quick. Go back to town, buy some more supplies. Use the waypoint. Enter here. Go talk to the cleric lady. Give alms. I, I never miss on this, by the way. Every time, 100% chance. Look at that, three for three. And then supplies. Boop, boop, boop. 
Thank you. Goodbye. Back to the waypoint. Okay, back to the dungeon too. I wonder if it resets each time we leave. Nope, it's the same. Okay. We'll do a little exploring and immediately. Oh, didn't we go here before? Let's like the whole thing is that like it's a staircase is blocked. That's sort of like the whole point. Um, I'm worried that this man's gonna get away from us here, so I think we'd go like this first. Just snag him. Buy the relic. That's a easy. Oh, the money goblin! I didn't realize you were here, money goblin. Be careful. Well, oh, I didn't realize there was a pile of dirt and a thing here. We could have maybe gotten them to line up together, huh? Barrels. And by that I mean the merchant and the and the money to line up together. Oh goblin, you fucked up. Boom. Take my gold, thank you. Down. The crypt. What do we got here? Dogs? Are we fighting like some sort of like necromancer lord? Why is it a bunch of dogs? Whatever, it's fine. Our side of the field is trapped, who cares? I ain't never lost a fight, not now, not never. Not to no damn dogs. Catherine, hey, do you have your uh, your blast wave? You do have blast wave, so you two are doomed. You two are actually extremely dead to rights here. Oh, we got triple quick fist into into uh oh, I have leopard form too. We have the nuts here. I'll tell you right now, we have the nuts. I think we might just kill all these dogs too. Hold on. Ooh, overkill was fine, whatever. Ditch this. You're exhausted? What are you exhausted from? I fucked up that something there, probably. You sons of guns. Fuck you. Uh, scatter. Pass. Sustain and power. Okay. What do you got? You got thorns? Every turn you got six thorns. It's kind of annoying. But we'll leaf here first. Pitching. Probably sidestep, I think. Oh, right, we need sidestep probably. No, yeah, we don't have any blocks. Never mind. Oh, you know what we'll do? We'll just... Yeah, we will pitch this, and we'll just punch the other dogs instead. How about that? Oh, I've triggered... I've, I've drawn Leopard form. I can't use it. What a shame. Didn't that say it was not lethal? Why did you die? You know, whatever. Got 20 block. I'm okay. Uh... Why are you back there? What is going on, man? Why are you back there? Bardic. Do one of those. Increase the attributes for every ally on the field. What a damn shame. You got no attacks, huh? Oh. End your turn. Oh no, this dog is smart. Oh, you have an ability where we're getting teleported randomly. That's why you got back there. Okay. Now it makes sense. I really have no... Oh, I have leaf in the wind. Okay. I was going to say, do I really have no blocks here? It's kind of fucked up, but we're good. We... You're going to summon a wolf. You are not summoning a wolf. I'm sorry, sir. That is actually 100% fake news. Okay. So I gotta get rid of these ex these uh, exhaustions I currently have. Oh, we we get a, we get a shift card. That's pretty cool. I don't think it's worth it. 
I still don't. I still have no idea what a prime shot. You know, let's let's figure out what a prime shot is, huh? Please, let me look at the card. Let me invest. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. Prime shot can be boosted by arrow cards for additional effects. What? Hmm. Okay. Plus three melee attack damage. That's fine. I'm gonna take this. I don't know. Upgrade a common item to magic. Gain. What, what does avert do? I saw. I saw that before. Blocks the next X instances of damage. Okay. That shield ability seems pretty good then too. Go to the event. Sounds of bones crunching down the hallway. Give you some pause. The two zombies hunched over an adventurer's bloody corpse, eating it with gusto. Mm. Let's stop them. You step in to stop the depravity. Apparently there's a cultist here. Makes sense. I assume the adventurer is extremely dead. But like maybe we can maybe he's still alive. Maybe we can save him, right? You never know. Oh, uh, let's let's improvise here too. I don't know what I drew. But, but yeah. uh we're gonna start punching. Okay, apparently you died. Uh let's discard this. And then let's move here. So Catherine's in melee range. What do you have in your hand? Not many attacks, actually, which is kind of... You have True Strike. I'll, I'll pop a True Strike here, honestly, to get the kill. I need to get you unexhausted, man. This is getting annoying. You can, you can attack with the thing, right? Hold on. You can just hit you? You don't die, though. Fly 9 shock. He has, enough, he has enough luck. Whatever. Honestly, let's just actually not even waste our stratagems, then. Force armor. You can zap me for nine. It's it's cool. Backing up will n do you no good, sir. Okay, well, go here. Excuse me. Why did you? You're protecting. Oh my god. Well, I'm just gonna. I've learned something important today. Learned a very va very valuable lesson, I would say. Uh, protecting units can't be moved out of the way of the person they're protecting. Ooh, flail of flare. Uh, grant shattering strike plus two melee attack damage. Once per turn, you can draw a kill a card on kill. Um. This is just a much worse version of Rune Edge. We'll take it. We're not using it. I guess, actually, maybe Naran wants to use this. Hold on. Why are you so exhausted? What happened? Oh, let's see. Everyone leveled up to... Let's do this. I'm gonna start leveling up Versa Vigors, I guess. Mm. Oh, you're level 2 nodes. Let's see what we got here. While dual wielding weapons, you gain 8 crit on turn start, while dual wielding weapons gain plus 4 initiative. Okay, I mean, right now. Oh. What the heck? Sorry, my other monitor accidentally, or I think I, I jostled the cord loose. Hold on. Ah, there we go. Okay, we're all good. Sorry about that. Um, I mean, right now, right now, my man is dual wielding. He's not, he's a monk. He's not meant to dual wield. He's supposed to be, like, unarmed, but, like, you know, I'm not going to complain. Ignore initiative penalty when ambushed. Retain one more card at the end of your turn, plus four initiative. Light-footed, once returned, you can step onto a cell with a cell effect without triggering it. Okay, kind of cool. 
from the shadows. Start battle in stealth. Stealth activates bonus effects on certain skills. On turn end, gain 50% of critical. Retain, not gain, sorry. Muscle memory, rolling a 19 or 20 in events will not exhaust skill cards. Not that useful, but whatever. Barrel army, not for us, we're not summoning. We're not poisoning, grounded. We're not really applying shock. I guess I'll, t I'll take dual wield mastery though. This, this is eight crit on turn start basically, and plus four initiative for us right now. I accept that. Um, Make our way towards a holy warrior three card seems pretty good. Get a, a holy warrior two on the way here. Power attack, not really that useful. Passive, if you are alone, we don't, we're not alone in the front row. Shield charge, deal 10 damage and move to the front row. We're already usually in the front row. Deal additional damage. Oh, yo, body slam. Play only from the back row. Never mind. Bad. Deal 43 damage. Enable or apply it in five, nine and feeble. The close quarters attack. Pretty good. It's pretty good damage. Apply and feeble nine seems pretty good for bosses too. I'll, I'll take this. I think this is a good enough skill to make the cut. We can get rid of, like... Let's go to the deck, actually. Um, let's get rid of... Uh, hmm. Let's get rid of Unlimited. Or a shield block that is limited. That seems fine to me. We need to get rid of your exhaustions. How do we do that? Oh, can we use a potion? Hold on, we have potions, right? It's about time I use one of these damn potions. One of these definitely removes exhaustion. There we go. Use now. We've done it. We'll go fight some coyotes. Or whatever. Why do these coyotes have their luggage with them? Also, one of these guys is just going super fast. You're attacking Stroud. Which is lucky for us because Stroud is going first. Hmm... We're not gaining a lot of agility. Let's, let's actually pop the Improvise here. Wish it was easier to tell what card you drew when you improvise, because it's just like, it looks the same, man. A little of this. A little leaf in the wind. We'll end the turn there. I think we should be okay. Shroud can handle the hit. Do you have what I think you have? You do have Blast Wave. Oh, baby. And you're blocking. So, yeah, this should be this should be pretty good. Base up. I mean, this is definitely overkill. But it's fun. A little of this. Anyone need regen? No, we're all topped off. I'm never going to get tired of Blast Wave, man. It's sick. Let me bodyguard. I mean, we'll just block, honestly. Either one is fine. Dog Howl. Uh... Boom. I hit you? I can. I'd like the luggage, please. Thank you. And then we dragon form. Uh, long spear. No, this is all pretty tr trash. I like to me. I, I is the I don't know the, I don't even know if the explorations are worth doing. Like I don't, I don't know. They're fine. But I think our just like our, our actual human lifetime is is better spent playing the game rather than doing them because they don't reward you with that much. It feels like most of the time. 
You're gonna fly away when I punch you, right? That's your whole thing? No, you're not one of those. You're not one of those kinds of bats. You stand and fight. Um... I hit anyone else? No, just you? Okay, well... I don't care about the trap. I want to hit someone else first. I messed up the order. Real bad, actually, I've, I've realized. Um, discard nothing. There you go. We're still more or less fine, I think. What are you doing? You're attacking me with a web pull, but it doesn't do any damage. You're biting. You're spitting poison. Okay. Tell me you got it. Oh, you don't have it. Damn. Okay, we're going to need to do some... Uh, some shit here then. Hmm. I don't think we need to cleanse you. It's kind of cool. Let's block up. Press the attack, force armor, block, empower, kill you. We got this one wrapped up, it looks like to me. You're gonna pull me with your web, not a big deal. The spider's like a different color though, huh? I haven't seen one that's like kind of gold color before. Spider leaper, okay. Let's handle the leaper first. Um. Oh. Yeah. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Gives us a little bit more agility, right? There you go. I do wish that attack was a little bit quieter. <laughs> it's a little loud, uh, for me at least. Yeah, I just don't care about the exploration. If you want to explore, we can explore anywhere, I feel like. We've triggered a tr pressure plate trap. Bolts fire from concealed crevices. Pick one hero to attempt a reflex save. Stroud, you got this, bud. Plus eight. I'll give you one exhaustion here. We'll use a we'll use a common skill. Hit him with the hit him with the guard. No one, please. Cool. You still have that anyway, but you know. Better safe than sorry. It would have been exact, actually. Shroud can handle one exhaust. He draws like 18 cards a turn. I think he'll be okay. Four dogs in a... Why, so, why so many dogs? What is the deal here? So unfortunately, we don't have a way to expend enough agility to trigger... Oh, actually we can because of sidestep. We can trigger dragon form here. Okay, so you and you are attacking, but you're howling. You're the one who's not actually doing any actual. You're the one who's only doing any actual damage here, and I keep not doing words right. We're gonna kill you first, I think, right now. So we go quick punchy, quick punchy, boom, sidestep, trigger dragon rage. kill you we go base verse verse chorus but you know what we need to do we need to we need to get more copies of or find you know we probably just need we need the 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 uh, bouncing attack in this deck too because we need more ways to actually utilize the uh the crit that we're putting on Naran right now because we're just not doing that, really. Let's put this here, because I feel like we're going to get the spread shot next turn if we need it. To kill a dog. I don't love, but whatever.
This guy is, is attacking before Catherine does, so we gotta keep that in mind. We are full blocking you, so... I'm not that worried. Yeah, werewolf down. Sidestep over here. Quick punch, quick punch. And we still had four fist as well. Damn, I... I... I love every character we have in this party right now. They're all very good and cool. Our cleric's a little boring, but we gave her a giant fuck-off sword, which is pretty sweet. Okay, here's our boss, the Rift Lord. You arrive in a massive underground chamber. The architecture is indeed something worthy to behold with a central platform surrounded in the center of the hallowed-out chamber. The room is so deep that the at the bottom, if there is one, Fades out to pure darkness. Trigger an encounter. Rift Lord floats upon a pentagram on the ground. Much like you've seen him in the cultist lairs. Or much like you've seen before in the cultist lairs. And the cave in the woods. Beneath him, the withered husk of King Ondaro lays. You've come a long way to witness your own deaths in excruciating pain. So it shall be, the Rift Lord utters. Every word, word soaked with malevolence. Oh, I guess we're fighting. I guess he's also going to summon this king guy. Tremble and fear mortals. Death comes, yada yada. Which one of you is the Rift Lord? You the Rift Lord? You're, you're a lich. It's been a lich. Why are you even calling him the Rift Lord? It's been a damn lich this whole time and I knew it. First time I saw this motherfucker, I called him a lich. And it was like, the game was like, no, Rift Lord. I feel like I've been pranked. Honestly. I want to improvise. Um, we can go hammer. What are, you, what are you doing? You're attacking. I think we're going to kill you before you attack. So really, it's just, you're going to summon a skeleton archer or a skeleton archer. Hold on. You're summoning a zombie and a skeleton archer. He's doing a lot of shit, it looks like. But that's fine. You're blocked by it. What's the trait here? Oh, you're durable too? Ugh. Well, let's get punching, right? Yeah. Uh... Yeah. That triggers dragon. Well, that put you out of range of our punches, apparently, which is weird. Hmm. Oh, you're you're a, you're a lane closer. I didn't realize you were in the back row there. My bad. Oopsie. We got blast wave here, so we're gonna be able to blast wave you next turn. And you are vulnerable to melee, but resistant to fire. So we're gonna want to give you at least a little bit of uh, bard buffs here. I think. We'll end your turn. Base. Everyone gets a chorus. Everyone gets a chorus. Seems fine to me. Oh, I forgot about your trait still, too. Shit. You're probably gonna live then, huh? Who are you attacking? You're attacking. Ah, no! I can share a guard, which is not perfect, but it helps. You can share a guard twice, here you go. Perfect. Easy play. You're gonna raise a bunch of zombies and skeletons and shit. They're gonna be weak as hell. We're gonna kill your, your summoner man. And uh, yeah. Should be cool, should be good. I think, we, I think we improvise again. What, what are the attacks we're looking at? We're looking at... You're doing two in a row. You're ice sharding and you're striking. You are doing a big spell. So we got to kill you like super high priority. You are just attacking and you're attacking nothing. Hmm. We need to block 
a lot of damage. What do you have coming up? True strike. I think I might not be able to hit you. I think this is going to actually block for you this turn. Which is really bad news. Um... If I if, hold on, you know what I can do here? I think actually, we're gonna punch. Yeah. Love, love punching. Everyone loves punching. We're gonna we're gonna quick step. I think I might be able to reach him now. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. <laughs> Boom. That's a lot of damage stopped right there. And then hopefully, this is now a lot of damage coming at uh at Catherine. I think she can block most, if not all, of it. You're still targeting him. You. I mean, we're blocking it. I think for the most part still, but you're you're a fucker. And you're still you're still shooting back there, goddamn. Okay, well, we're gonna need to probably bl share block again or something. It looks like. Um. Yeah. How much are you taking? You're taking eight and then ten. I can bodyguard you. Oh, so pre I, for some reason I thought protected meant like, uh, I thought protected meant like I would block the actual attacks for you. It just means that my character is forced to stay in front of you the whole time. That's interesting. But I can't actually block range attacks. Hmm. Which is not great news. We're going to have to probably then move you out of here entirely with a couple stratagems. Which is okay. But then you put that puts you in range of lurch. Ugh, never mind. We're gonna take a hit here on Neron, it looks like, but that's okay. Stroud, what do you have left to do here? Oh, yeah. Block, pitch this. Guess I add inspiration here. You have your your big slammer? No, you don't. But you can get a pretty strong hit in. Either way. Hmm. Get a big big hit here. Also, might. I like might here. Might. Bodyguard. Still blocking that. Horse armor. Neuron gets shot once. It's not the end of the world. Are you gonna summon more more dudes? Apply to disarm. Okay, that's fine. This is a pretty good turn for us, I think. Punch. You're just chilling up here, man. You have you live your best life, dude. Punch. Punch. Just do that. Pass. Uh. Hmm. We do a little of this, a little of this. Maybe a little inspiration into a scatter shot here. Kill that zombie up there, because eventually it'll it'll make its way down here and be annoying, I think. Hmm. You're resistant to cold and to poison. Take normal melee damage hits. Shield block, protect. 
You've been disarmed, and you've been exposed, or whatever this was. I just can't attack this turn. Okay. Well, that's fucked up. You son of a bitch. You've lost, you've lost your protection, but that's fine. Apparently, you, you have to. This targets an enemy, and if the enemy moves out of the range, it does not retarget, which is good to know. Um. You do a little of this. A little of this. A little of, little of, little of this. And let's shift here to get you closer. Heavy blow is a short range move. Can't hit the back row. But this can hit, so we'll do that. We'll do a block. He summoned more Skellingtons. Apparently he only summoned one. For some reason. I thought he was going to summon two there. He is, he is like summoning one more, it looks like. Maybe? I can't tell. It, I will say it's a little annoying to try to figure out what your opponent is doing sometimes. Because there's four things that I can only see two of what the actions are. Well, like, not a big deal. Um, what am I doing all the way back here? Let's sidestep up here. How about that, maybe? Do a little punching. Do a little punching. Do a little punching. Do a little punching. And then... Do you have your a blast wave? You do have blast wave. Hey, blast wave kills here. Let's just let's just verse up, and then yeah, boom. We've uh, killed the Rift Lord. You are strong for a mortal, but we are legion, and another will rise where I fall. Okay. We did it. Oh, that brings right back to town. Cool. How convenient. Sorry, hold on a second. That's actually, for once, a pretty good spot to end the video, which is nice. Captain Roger, you put down the Rift Lord. I can hardly believe it. A victory to be sure, but I'm afraid this might just be the beginning. We know the recent ongoings were instigated by cult activities. The Mastermind is still at large, and there is no telling when or where this could happen again. Ever the professional, but you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Round up those who wish to help you in this pursuit. Marco is already arranging... Passage out of town. He won't pass by an opportunity like this. Self-captain, you gotta stay here. I assume I assume this is the end of Act 1. You mad bastard. You, who the fuck are you? Who was that? <laughs> who was that guy? You are truly a savior of the land. With the Rift Lord's death, we can begin the slow journey to rebuilding our city. Why, why, why call him a Rift Lord here, but a Lich in the combat? That seems just kind of weird to me, but whatever. The business of a merchant is not just the trade of goods, but that of something far more precious, knowledge. Where trouble goes, profits follow. Of course, it won't hurt to have a hero or two by my side. I'll be traveling eastward to the desert. The chance we'll be able to sauce out more information. Yo, the imposter vented in the desert. <laughs> Uh, anyway, yada yada, continue to the next act. Absolutely. We did it. Act one complete. Run statistics. Time spent 14 hours. Jesus. Probably a little bit longer than normal for people for the first act, if I had to guess, but, uh, fun. And cool. And good. May may hey, listen. Maybe... Maybe it's wrong, but maybe we should crank the difficulty up a little bit more. I don't know, like, we're not having any trouble yet. Like, the closest we've gotten to losing a fight is, like, when Neuron got shot there during that fight. Oh, hold on. How do we see... Oh, we can, like, look at this, okay. Do you, like, individual characters? Oh, yeah, here we go, we can see. Total damage taken, 109, 157... 148 total damage dealt 9,000, 12,000, 
Hey, 2,000 for you is not bad either. Last hits, 168.95. Very cool, very cool. I thought maybe Catherine would have caught up with her absurd rune edges there. And she did come close, it looks like, but no. Also, I gotta imagine, like, 90% of that damage was from the, uh, map events, right? Nothing else really could have done it. Anyway. That was cool. Victory is mine, yada yada, act two. But we're gonna, we're gonna end the episode here, and we'll pick off, or we'll pick up next time at the start of act two. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. This game is good. Goodbye.